Hi, Janelle. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am good. I am so excited for you to tell me all about your product. But before you do, tell me a little bit about who you are. Okay. Well, um, I am Janelle and I am with FourYearSurvival.com. And um, I live in California. And uh, FourYearSurvival.com is an online business that my sister and I uh, both started. Very nice. So how long have you been in business? Since 2011. Very nice. You've been in business for a while. Okay. So if you don't mind, tell me a little bit about what your product is. Okay. Well, basically, um, uh, the products are emergency kits and emergency supplies, um, preparing communities for disasters which we see multiplying nowadays. And so um, we have uh, disaster kits that are already pre-made for people to purchase for their families and for businesses. That's really good. So what kind of items do you put in this disaster kit and how heavy is it? Do you roll it or can you put it on your back? That's a good question um, because uh, we do have some bags with wheels especially for those, um, some of our customers are people out there who are, who can't carry a heavy load um, so they can wheel their bag. <laughs> and um, uh, we also have backpacks and also we have mini survival kits. Mm. So mini survival kit um, basically can be placed into your glove compartment in your car or your truck. And it also, uh, for those who carry purses, um, it can, be placed in your purse if it's big enough. Mm, I like that idea. And you know, the thing is, is that people would not have thought about survival kits, many people would know, um, before the pandemic occurred. But it seemed like when the pandemic occurred, they still didn't even think, okay, well, what do I need to do? Their first thought was milk, bread, and tissue. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Those were the main items. So do you have um, food in there? Or I know more. most people are going to want to know about the tissue too. Do you have that? <laughs> well, um, we have, in some of our basic kits, we have protein bars and of course water. Um, the unique thing about our kits is that our protein bars and our water have a five-year shelf life. So that that's key to, to our kits because sometimes people say, oh, I can put my own kit together. Well, you know, ours have a five-year shelf life. And, and not only that, our protein bars, uh, for example, I'll, I'll show you an example um, of one that I have here. If you, if you look at it, it's, it's extremely thick. <laughs> I, I, girl, it would literally take me a whole day to eat that big old thing. <laughs> well, and, and, and that's the that's the unique part about this uh, this bar in particular. This bar is um, it's an SOS emergency food bar. Mm -hmm. And so it is specifically designed to uh, not get you dehydrated, mm -hmm. especially in an emergency situation when you're rationing water and, and trying to uh, keep everything balanced out and proportioned. So this this thick, very thick bar um, has 20, is a 2,400 calorie bar. So technically it can save you, uh, as far as your food for like three days, this can help you to survive for, for the three days. Whoa. Yeah. So it's, so you see it's, it's pretty thick and it's pretty, um, sealed tightly too. Um, and so these are in a lot of our emergency kits along with our water. Mm -hmm. Um, but we also have other options. For those who are, um, a lot of people are gluten free or mm -hmm. um, vegan and, you know, have all these different health concerns. And so sometimes they can't eat um, the average food that's out there. Mm -hmm. and, and so when it comes to time of emergency, they have special, a special situation. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we added on um, a healthier option. Uh, which is the nutrient survival uh, that we partnered with with our um, the forty survival? Oh, very nice. So you're making um, arrangements with other companies for better or different food choices. 
Right. I love that. Oh, that's good. So you have the bars. What other items do you have? Well, um, and we, some of the other items that we have, for example, here, it's a, we have a paracord bracelet that is also in some of our kits. And this is like a total, um, this bracelet can, as you, as you can see, it's, it's a medium sized bracelet, mm -hmm. but it's a whistle, it's an emergency whistle. Um, it's a, there's a lot of uses, um, and I'm just reading some of the uses on the back of this. If you can create a shelter with it, um, you can sew up cuts with it, you can make a splint, you can secure a boat, <laughs> you can create a fire with this bracelet, um, and it holds up to 550 pounds. It also has a compass on it. Girl, I need that, that bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so just FYI, it's not a bracelet that you give to the kids because, you know, it has all those different options in it, you know, especially mm -hmm. starting the fire, but it's an excellent bracelet to keep in your kids. Mm. Um, a lot of people, and, and, and not only for disasters, it can be used, in, uh, a lot of people use it for camping. Um, but once again, excellent in a disaster situation. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's, it's like a, like a one-stop shop that's in this bracelet. It's mm -hmm. not, it's, and, and it doesn't look too bad. So <laughs> it doesn't look bad at all. And the thing is, is that it makes me think about, um, maybe teen drivers or people that, drive at night or you're driving, uh, traveling, you need to maybe keep that within your car because a lot of us don't know how to start a fire, right. you know? Um, and then what if your phone dies and there's something going on with the battery charger? That compass will come in handy. I remember when I first moved to Georgia and I, I dropped my um, husband at the time off at work and I was, Thinking that I was heading back home, guess where I ended up? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, I started seeing the Alabama signs. <laughs> oh my So goodness. a compass would be perfect to keep in, in your car, you know, for situations like that, because we rely so heavily on our cell phones, but they fail us sometimes. So yeah, it's important okay. in that. For the, I mean, it, it sounds like it has a lot of other benefits. I, yes. I love this. I love this. That's only two items and both of them are necessary. So yeah, that's, you know, that's just two items. Um, a, another one, for example, a lot of times in emergency situations is um, uh, uh, if you watch a lot of those survival shows, I, I love those survival shows like Man vs. Wild with mm -hmm. Bear Grylls and, um, you know, not only is water and food highly important but also keeping your body temperature to a certain level is very important in case you're out somewhere where it's, it may be very cold mm -hmm. so um so another item that is in our kit and a lot of our kits um is the little tiny emergency blanket oh wow yeah or, or what some people call the space blanket and it's waterproof and it it, it keeps about 85 to 90 percent of your body heat in. It's very thin, mm -hmm. but you can it can cover your whole body, oh, and okay. so and so it, it's it's designed to keep the body heat in, in emergency situations. Mm -hmm. So this this is a, another item that is in the kits that some people and may not have in their regular to go bags. So far, everything is light, mm -hmm. which is good because mm -hmm. when you think about carrying something or say there's a disaster and you have to get somewhere we don't want to have to carry you know a lot of things and then we still have our clothing and maybe shoes that we need to bring as well so right. i love it i love it right the, the last thing you need is uh, you know you can't in emergency situations most of the time it it's an emergency so you have to get out fast so mm -hmm. You want something that's already prepared and easy to just either drop. And actually, um, you know, the, the FEMA organization, the Federal Emergency Management um, Organization, they suggest that you have an emergency kit in wherever you are. So mm -hmm. whatever locations you are. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at your job, mm -hmm. um, in your car, at your house, and even in your garage, um, and particular, particularly 
here in California, since we have earthquakes, they say if your house collapses in an earthquake, you definitely want to have a, a mercy kit in your garage. Mm -hmm. But then that could apply to anywhere also, you know, if you don't have earthquakes. But it's basically just place some type of emergency supplies everywhere you are, especially in your car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, when you said that, it made me think of New Orleans because it, I mean, from for the last 20 years, it just seems like there's something always happening there. And then in Florida, and then there are also certain parts of Georgia Every time I turn around, the roofs are being taken off of the home. You know, they're mis they're displaced. So anybody seems like they really need these um, bags. If you don't mind, so you said that you showed us a couple of the items that you have. Can you share um, maybe the sizes of the bags? Can you show us? The, do you have a website? Yes. Yes, the website is uh, www uh, the number four, the letter U, the letter R, and survival.com. So it's warriorsurvival.com. Do you mind pulling it up and kind of showing us the items? Oh, okay. Uh, do I have access to share mm -hmm. the screen? Hmm. Another one of my technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, so um, is maybe there's something going on with it. It's not allowing me to, so. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, just briefly, um, um, we have we have Mercy Kids tailored to, you know, from a single person to um, a two person to a five person kit. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, for, for single persons or for families, and um, as I, I do have, um, to show you the, the, the size of the, the mini survival kit here, as you can see, it's kind of sort of square shaped oh, yeah. in my hands. But um, the, the whole purpose of the mini survival kit is, um, once again, this can go in your glove compartment. Um, for some people, it can fit into their purses. Um, it's basically the, the, the quick, fix until you get to your big emergency kit. It's mm -hmm. like a temporary kit in a sense. But but in this kit, it's it's pretty packed because even though it's small, mm -hmm. uh, it has a bunch of different items in here. So it has the compass, it has the whistle, um, it has the emergency poncho, it has a pocket knife, Your three lead powered flashlight. Oh, that's cool. It has the um, waterproof matches. Even a little sewing kit. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, it has the um, um, little protein bar in there. It has the yellow glow stick. Once again, it has the emergency blanket. Mm -hmm. Of course, it, it has your little mercy water pouch. And last but not least, it has a 12 plus hour body warmer. Mm. So that, that's those are all the items that's in, in your little mini survival kit. I love that. Yeah, just it's compact, but it's, it's just enough to temporarily, you know, like I said, it's excellent for your glove compartment in your car. Mm -hmm. um, or your purse. Sometimes, a lot of times when I would go into San Francisco, um, I would take with me in my purse. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would. So those bags are very convenient. Um, the thing is, is that at work, I have a locker and I've had it. Now, I'm kind of telling them myself, but I've had it <laughs> for about three or four years now. And I have necessary items in there. Just in case something happens, I can't leave work. Um, you know, because I, I, there was something that they call snowmageddon and people were stuck at work. And I'm thankful that um, I was at home that day, but there were people that were at work for a couple of days. So, and then people that were on the road. So that's why the car is so important also, 
for days and we, they couldn't get the cars off of the road. Some people went to pub public, some people went to Kroger. So to have items like that, where you can just grab your bag and you know, feel a little safe and have a little comfort, that's really, really important. You should have access now to share. See if you can share. Okay. And I love doing that also because it allows people to, um, so you, you said it earlier, but then they're seeing the website and then the moment they can go ahead and just go right into your website. Just one moment, okay. No problem. I think I selected the, okay, here it is. I mean, I really love your flower. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I call it my pandemic flower because I, it, 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 I noticed it kind of just kind of cheers everybody up. Yeah, I love that. It's so funny. I had a migraine earlier today after one of our meetings and um, I was so glad to just log out <laughs> work. But I saw your flower and I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it brightened my day. Okay, so just briefly on this on the front page, just one moment. Um, so so the website again, and and people can subscribe to our newsletter, mm -hmm. um, which is very a very good thing because um, we give tips and have different updates. Um, we even um, had a uh, a wilderness um, expert instructor. We had a, a free class one time from um, the Alderleaf Wilderness College College in Washington. We hosted it. And so newsletter will keep you updated on, on certain events we may have. Mm -hmm. um, and we also had Red Cross um, give a presentation. And so, but on this first page of forestsurvival.com, it makes it very easy to select your kits according to your need. Um, as you see on the first page, the family preparedness package. Um, it, it's laid out pretty simple. So, you know, if you need a one person backpack, mm -hmm. a two person kit, four person, five person, um, a car kit, and we have a special family road kit um, for all those animal lovers, yeah. which I love animals. Uh, we can't forget the animals, right. <laughs> especially in disaster. There's a pet kit sec section, as you see here. Um, we, then as, as I scroll down, there's the, we have, 30 day and 60 day, 72 hour and 90 day food kits mm. Um, mm. in particular. And so, so here, just one moment. I love the hazard triangle. Oh, the hazard triangle down below? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you just never know. <laughs> yes. With, you know? Oh, and then, and then of course the kits with the wheels. These these comfort kits. That's perfect. That we see here below, um, but for example, here the four person kit we can browse the four person one because that's that's usually our main item that people usually receive, and and sometimes, um, just one moment. Some reasons having look it's freezing up on me. Okay, um, so sometimes what people sometimes people ask us um, uh, if if they're one person, you know, they might be a single person, or maybe even a two two people. You know, they, sometimes they say, "Oh well, um, what would you suggest? Which kit would you would you suggest we get?" And um, I, I usually give a suggestion of at least add one other person to your kit if you can, you know, yeah. um, you never know if a neighbor or a coworker might um, need some assistance or even if somebody else doesn't need assistance, you can be extra supplies for yourself or, or you know, so, but the kit in here, like on the, on the four person kit, it's everything in the kit and it has a description. 
of um, everything that's in the kit for four people mm -hmm. on an average of three days. So according to um, FEMA, they suggest that that you have at least three days of preparedness mm -hmm. before you can receive some type of um, help, outside help. Wow. So, of course, you know, now with uh, disasters occurring more often, mm -hmm. um, longer time periods of having supplies is suggested, of course, but at least the minimum of three days. Yeah, this is so necessary. I see that you have tents, um, things that people don't think about. So um, we had this meeting at work and I never thought about people that uh, maybe couldn't afford pads, but the fact that you have pads in there, that's what made me think about it. Um, that's necessary. So even um, if maybe someone, they don't need it, you don't know that your neighbor might need that. So maybe I, I like the, the thought of thinking about other people while we're in a situation. Right, right. That's, that's um, definitely, I mean, just a good thing because in this part of the reason why my sister and I um, started for your survivals because we had read the statistics here in the Bay Area that um, less than 17% of the people were prepared. Um, and so that's when we realized, well, you know, we need to be involved in helping to promote people yeah. being prepared. And we, we naturally talk to people about that. Like, you mm -hmm. need to be prepared. You need to get this. You need to get your stuff together. And we realized, okay, well, we should get into the business of, of helping people to do that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because, and it's so funny when um, I shared some of this information with um, a coworker after the first time we talked about it. And it's so funny. She said, I never thought about that. And I was like, since everything happened, what do you think? She said, I think it's an amazing idea. So I think the more people get to know what you're doing, then the more people will want your business because it's one thing to know what we need. It's another thing to do it. Mm -hmm. And with everybody being so busy, this is, it's, it's a real, it's a real benefit. Right. Right. It's, it's, um, and, and people, sometimes people don't realize they need it until a disaster occurs <laughs> and, it, and so bringing that awareness um at, ahead of time is like you know like and that's our that's part of our logo is preparation is the key to survival yeah and then it, you just made me think about so when you spoke about um there's some kind of a blanket that you can put on and it warms you mm -hmm. so my sister's home burned down and it was cold outside, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was snowing. She was in Chicago and she needed a coat. So she had to call someone to bring her a coat because everything burned down. Mm. So things like this, if we have them in the car, you know, it's not a coat, but it helps for the moment. Right, right. That's, that's the key. And even like you mentioned about the tent, I mean, you know, the little two person tube tent, um, you know, you might be outside your home. And so you need a little setup. Um, and once again, it, with, with any uh, emergency survival situation, they are, you know, you need your, your food, water and shelter. Those mm -hmm. are your main three concerns. Um, and so it's good to have it with you. <laughs> it's definitely good. I'm, I'm so glad that you connected um, with me on this. So many people need this. Sometimes you don't know you need it. Now you know you need it. Get in contact with Janelle if you have questions. <laughs> Make sure you go to her site and purchase. Um, even if you start off with a small kit to see, okay, I see the benefits. And then you move on to the next one. But think about your family, you know, when you're in um, situations. Or if you have a, a child that maybe is in college, they need to have something like this in the back of their car. Right, right. And, and even uh, there, some of the kids have a little um, potty 
a potty bucket. Oh. Um, and, and so that that's helpful too. And in fact, one of our customers, um, um, she, she actually said that the potty bucket came in handy. Uh, she had purchased at that time um, one of the kits earlier and emer kind of emergency happened. She had to use the potty bucket and she let me know that. <laughs> Wow. And so, and so the little potty bucket, you know, um, the, the supplies come in the bucket and then it has a little seat cover over it. Um, and so that's definitely a good thing to have in the back of the car. Mm -hmm. You, do you know how many times I've heard somebody say they had to use a can or they didn't have a can? I also remember my grandmother growing up and, you know, the older people get, they can't really, you know, hold their liquid so yeah I remember yeah the frequent stops you know driving and it small drives Michigan to Chicago so definitely yeah. necessary and then if you're potty training you know that's going to come in handy as well because a, a baby can't control themselves so yes <laughs> that is true yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And I love the water kits. I'm on this water kick. <laughs> and, you know, so to make sure that you have that in there and they look like pouches. So they're not really heavy. I really, I really like that. Yeah. Um, just one moment. There is, I'm going to pull up something real quick. I love your site too. And you have a 1-800 number. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have 1-800-274-1142. Um, just one moment. And so, and so a person can give us a call if they have questions. Uh, we also have a water filtration bottle. Um, and since you mentioned about the water, and as you can see here, it's, it's easy, easy to purify and um, produces up to 100 gallons of clean water. Mm -hmm. uh, it removes 99.9% of pollutants and um, it's a good, once again, another good item to have in your kit mm -hmm. because um, you never know when water may be questionable. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, now some years ago, some people may have thought, okay, you might just need this if you were out in the wilderness or you know, somewhere, but, you know, now with all these different disasters and stuff, it's, it's hitting home. So um, this is still a good item to have mm -hmm. if you live in the city. I, to I totally agree. So do you know how much money I spend on water bottles? Bottles of water. <laughs> so this in itself saves money on just purchasing bottled water. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and it looks like it's lightweight also. Yes. Yeah, that's 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 the key is, is to keep it um, basically keep, you know, keep the main items. And, and like I tell I'll tell people um, in the past, uh, this is pre pandemic, we would host um, what we call survival parties in, in, in the home. And um, and so I, I would tell people, you know, the the protein bars and the different the different foods and things that are in some of the emergency kits, um, they're not crab and lobster, <laughs> right? But but you know these kits are the basic foundation uh, in cases of emergency um, of your main needs. Now you add whatever your additional needs are, you know, to your kits. What your you know what your comfort maybe comfort some of your comfort snacks or comfort foods you added to the emergency kits. But for your survival is is the foundation. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, I'm I'm actually impressed with um, everything that you have to offer, the different sizes, um, everything that we need to survive. You know, with and especially <laughs> you said when you think about it, maybe three days. So when you think about three days and you're already panicking to have these kids on, you know, already on hand. It's like, it takes a weight off. Oh, did we, do you have tissue? You do have it with the potty kit, don't you? Uh, I'm naming it potty kit. <laughs> right, right. Uh, the potty kit, it does, it does have the, the sanit some of the sanitary wipes in there with the potty kit, yes. 
Okay, cool. Oh, very good. See, people, you have your tissue, okay? You have your water <laughs> and your tissue. <laughs> so this is this is perfect. Is, is there anything else that you think people need to know? Or you mentioned before that you used to do the um, the parties. Do you still do those if people are interested? Uh, we 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 don't we no longer do those um especially you know since the pandemic and everything um we that's in the pan, in the pandemic was when we started we had the uh, start to host the you know the red cross presentations and the um the wilderness survival presentations on zoom okay um and so and so that's where we kind of took that and you know and had people come on zoom and some of the, some of the customers or some of the people who are interested um, get educated about it. And on, on Instagram live, uh, we, um, we had quite a few and, and we re recorded it and it's on our Instagram page for your survival. Um, we recorded some of the, like the tip of the week. So every Mondays we would get uh, survival tips of the week, um, answering questions like are giving tips on how to stay hydrated, um, mm -hmm. which, which bugs are edible, um, all, Girl, all kinds please of do tell. <laughs> please yeah, do yeah. tell. What kind of bugs are edible? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm going to eat any. I'm going to stick with the bars. <laughs> right, right. Well, you know, when we had um, one of the uh, wilderness experts from the Alderleaf Wilderness College in Washington, when he spoke, um, he spoke about, you know, ants. And he said, you know, when you get a lot of ants and um, you sort of... Uh, he said you boil them in water for a certain amount of time. Um, it helps to take the acid out of it. You know, it's, it's all kind of different mm -hmm. tips and things that you learn just in case you might need it one day. Okay, and I eat. He gave some really good, uh, he gave a really good presentation on, on how to, the shape of your, if you're, the shape of your shelter, if you're um, building with leaves and with trees and the best shape to keep the cold out. It, it, it was very good. Oh, wow. I need to meet this individual. We need to, to talk because that is a part of survival. So that is, I mean, that it kind of accompanies what you do. Mm -hmm. So I need to meet this person. We're trying to prepare you people so that you're ready just in case something happens. We don't want you out there struggling or not being able to get the help that you need. Prepare yourself so you can help yourself. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he knows. So, um, secret, I eat clay. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe he can talk about the different clays that are, um, you know, from the ground that are good for people to eat the different minerals and things like that. But that's not a part of her brand, just so you know, she didn't subscribe <laughs> <laughs> to that at all. <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. So I see that um, there's something, I, it keeps catching my eye, so I want to make sure I mention it. So it says that that product was, um, it qualifies for free shipping. How do they get free shipping or um, discounts on shipping? Right, um, right, right now, um, just one moment, let me just double check, because my, my sister usually works with the shipping. Right now, if you order any of the main emergency kits on the um, on the homepage, mm -hmm. um, like the one person, two person, to five person kits, then the um, then the shipping is free. Okay, very nice to know. And I I see that um, they can register with you, and then you also have gift certificates. You are a whole, I mean, amazing brand. I love that. Well, I love it. You. Very well <laughs> done. Very well done. And then you have, um, okay, so is that what that coupon is up there saying? Yes, yes. Um, they, you can receive an extra 10% off. And um, when you're getting ready to check out, um, just type in the code SAS10 and you will receive an extra additional 10% off. Um, and once again, sometimes people wonder, according to the area they live in, how to be prepared. So we have checklists here that they can print 
if it's for a flood, hurricane, tornado, earthquake, or fire. And um, and so it's 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 placed right there that they can print, and and then they have a suggestion on um a suggestion on suggestion suggestions and a checklist of what to purchase. Um, and then we have this area here. This is the area here of the survival courses. If they, if you want, if they want to get a little deep, mm -hmm. we're connected with um, Alder Leaf, or partnered with, I should say, partnered with Alder Leaf Wilderness College. And so, if they want to get really, really, really deep into the survival skills, mm -hmm. um, they can take courses on here. Uh, core survival concepts, wilderness survival shelter. Uh, courses um, and then uh, water purification. Wow. The fire skills, wild survival foods. I mean, they have some really good courses on here. Um, and and the the owner is really nice. Um, they have actual in person survival classes, but um, but they also have Zoom classes online too, which is good. I'm still um, staying in right now it's just it seems like every time i go out something happens so i'm still really cautious so hey utilize the zoom and they'll just click the link and then it'll give them the information on which one they can go into yes perfect perfect i, I love how you have everything um out there so that they can click into what they need and get more information so educate yourself come onto the site check out this information. And then once you've actually done your homework, if you still have questions, go into the about um, me and then ask the questions that you need and let them get back to you. Yes, 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 yes. And so, and, and for some people who may not be um, comfortable on, on the computer, um, they give us, you can, they can give us a call and, um, and we can place the order for them and answer questions. We, you know, we have some customers who don't feel comfortable um, online and that's fine. So yeah. they can just call us and we can walk them through it. Look at you. I love this. I'm proud of you, Janelle. I haven't met your sister, but tell her I'm proud of her too. <laughs> well, thank amazing. you. Amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, so Anything else before we go that you want to share or you think that they need to know about? Um, I guess I would say, let me see. Um, yeah, I think that I was just turning around looking at, looking at, um, see if I'm missing it, missing something in my, in my items. Um, I'm still, I'm still uh, tripping off that bar girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bar is pretty thick. The bar yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so for you to say, I think you said three days, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so people that may be struggling, maybe even if you're struggling with food, I would say get the kit because that <laughs> will save you on money that you were spending out of maybe at restaurants or purchasing food. I, I just think that it just comes in handy for so many reasons. Right, right. Um, and, and just, uh, um, this may be a common sense tip, but, but people may not think about it when they're in emergency situations is, you know, if an emergency comes up and you have your, your kits, um, mm -hmm. one tip is, is, is don't drink, start drinking your emergency water until the following day, because, um, that sounds very simple, but, um, most likely you've already had water that day. And so you want to really ration it out and um, and use common sense in those situations. And when you have that mentality, it really helps you to to really work to hide, keep yourself hydrated on a regular basis. Yes. <laughs> to cons conserve your your water. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point because maybe halfway into the situation, you panic. You know, maybe not in the beginning, but then you start panicking and, oh, uh, I need to eat or I need to drink water. I'm going to calm down. I like what you said. 
I'm like, yeah. I mean, you're giving, you're giving gems for free. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And, and, and of course, try to stay away from a lot of salty foods that will dehydrate you in those situations. Yeah. So it's, it's, um, thinking of keeping those little tips in mind, um, can, can be very helpful in those situations. Thank you. That's, that's really perfect. Get the kits, the big ones, the small ones, the ones for your children, for your parents, um, for your, maybe even for your neighbors, you know, maybe somebody, uh, I, there are some really kind people out here. Um, my sister has mentioned several times that her neighbors will do her, her yard. What? <laughs> well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, gifts for your neighbors, you know, I think that things like this, it's even good for maybe, um, say somebody's work anniversary is coming up, get them something like that, something that's useful, mm -hmm. you know, so I love it. That's, that's a good, that's a good uh, point that you made is, you know, sometimes we give gifts to people and like give them gifts like, you know, stuff to eat, chocolates or things like that or other gifts and what better gift uh, you can give them to help them survive in case they're in disaster. Um, mm -hmm. And actually at my job, I gave quite a few of my coworkers uh, emergency blankets and, um, and they, you know, they said, thank you. And I, I told some of them, I said, I said, I, well, actually one of my coworkers said, well, when, when I'm in an emergency and I'm trying to keep warm, I'll think of you, you know? Oh. And so, and so we sort of laugh, but the thing is, is what better gift to give them? Because then, especially like your family, um, your maybe extended family um, is maybe if you are if you have if you're just one person maybe buy a two person and then just bag up get another backpack bag up the other supplies for them and give them that gift um, so in emergency they will thank you I'm very sure <laughs> mm -hmm. they definitely will and I love that you have the separated food but you also have the big utility supply kit so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it has wheels on it. Uh, yes, yeah, some of the kids have the wheels, the comfort kids. Come on, yeah. Now I'm going to say, if we're in a disaster, <laughs> and I'm still working on myself, but I'm not going to work on that. If we're in a disaster and you don't have your supplies, you don't come ask for my food. I might give you a band aid. <laughs> I might give you a gauze. But y'all better get your own food. I'm just saying. So you see the food, get it, get the kits, make sure that you're you're taken care of. And I like the way that they're packaged. The um, material is re really thick because in the situations where something drops or um, you accidentally drag something, it doesn't look like it will automatically tear because the material is so thick. So, I mean, things like that, we, we don't really think about, when, especially when we're panicking, but I'm an overpacker. So I like to know what's going on with my stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Janelle. Thank you for sharing your items. Um, Janelle has showed you guys around the website how to get your 10% discount. And um, she also let you know if you have questions after doing your research, reach out to her. There's a little box down there that says leave a message. So make sure you do so with your information. Well, thank you so much, Francis, for interviewing me. And, um, and once again, as I mentioned before, um, 40 Survival will be sending you a, a, a mini survival gift. Um, so, so and, and then once again, for all of you out there, please don't hesitate to use the coupon code SAS10 and share it with your family and friends. Thank you so much, Janelle.